on your phone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Sunday House Call. Excited to be here. Uh, my co-host, Dr. Sinaro Coomer, is having a fun time in Las Vegas. Uh, and unfortunately, she's not here. But uh, I'm going to be talking to you over the next half an hour. And we actually may go a little over time. Talk about Movember. As you know, November is a no-shave Movember. It's the month that um, it's uh, brought in about 2004 a uh, bunch of young guys hanging out by the bar in the pub, and they realize that while there is a pink ribbon for women, there's really nothing for men out there, and they decided to grow the mustache, and that's a sign of conversation and the start to have screening about men's health. Men's health is obviously a very serious issue that hasn't been getting a lot of attention, unlike women's health. And I'm going to give you a little lecture today, and I hope it's not boring, a lot of exciting videos to show why women should be involved in men's health and why their brain and their passion and emotions are so different than men. How we think as guys totally different than, than women and when something is not broken for guys, we don't like to go fix it. Leave us alone, we're perfectly fine. I don't want to be tested, I don't want to see the doctors and they're just going to come up with stuff. Whereas women are very they do due diligence, they're very vigilant about their health, they get into it, and I hope I can prove you why we're different and how women can play a big role. So my conversation not only is to men out there, but to a lot of women, the wives, the girlfriends, who should be aware of this. Now, the foundation of this Movember, which is, I think, has grown to be a global men's health awareness society, is really twofold. Um, one is, let's have a conversation and bring awareness. But they also want you to really make time for yourself. Make sure that you have open conversation, understand the statistics, what your risks are, and what dangers you're in. Genetic factors, family histories, and so on and so forth. And go nuts. Think about the testicles, especially when it comes to the age of 15 to 34. This is one of the most common cancers, testicular cancer. So think about self-examination, Think about screening if you have any testicular pain coming to be checked. And that's very different. Now, let me see if I can prove to you how my wife and I think different and how all women out there think different. Look at the example of what we have here. Now comes like the vacation time and we're about to go away. What do you think my wife does? When she starts to try to put a suitcase together, she's going to be looking for every little detail and look for everything that the kids need. And in fact, we're going to be thinking about this when we're in the plane. We realize when we get to our destination how many things we actually left behind. When it comes to me, look at the way I pack. <coughs> I'm sorry about the cough. But I basically have to get my suitcase, my bathing suit, some shaving cream, and some like very like, like necessary things for myself. And I'm, I'm done with packing. And that's the true reality of what's going on when it comes to men and women. We just think totally different. 